Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm back down at Cleethorpes Beach again, my local beach, and uh, I got the bug last week when I did that sunrise, and um, I've come back today to try a little bit of long exposure perhaps and I've been wandering around the beach for about an hour just trying to find something nice as a foreground element and I've come across this lovely little rock that's got lots of shells and, and bits and bobs stuck to it and I just thought it was just something really different it's got a little pull round it still as you can see I've got the camera right on the floor and I'm making that rock look as big as I can I'm on 16 mil I've got the 10 stop uh, ND filter on and that's bringing my exposure right down to 30 seconds. I'm at f22, and I'm at about. I've had to bump the ISO up to about ISO 500, I think, just to get the exposure right at 30 seconds. Because I also want, as well, I've focused on the the rock obviously with the shells on it, but I also want the clouds to look really smooth. And although the tide's going out now, there's a bit of a bit of uh, sea still in the frame, and I want everything to be nice and smooth. I want to capture as much movement as I can in the clouds and the seawater and the tide going out but I want that rock to be nice and sharp so I have been waiting for the for a bit of light to come onto the scene but it's really cloudy um, I am hoping obviously I'm going to go for a walk around and see what else I can find you know another bit of long exposure perhaps but I am hoping that sunset's going to be quite nice and it might although this, I'm on the east coast obviously sunset's in the west obviously it might cast a bit of nice nice orange red pinkish tones on the clouds that's over the coast here but we'll we shall see but if that doesn't happen i'm still going to hopefully get another long exposure frame or two so but it's just nice to be out on the coast the wind's not too bad today so so the tide is going out so i'm going to go for a walk round and see what else i can find something a bit different and uh, i'll pop this image up now guys and i hope you like it Well, I don't think there's going to be any nice sunset tonight, unfortunately. There's, I don't know if you can see behind me, it's a bit bright, but massive cloud base now moved on the west, so no good light, I don't think. But never mind, not to worry. That would have been an added bonus. But uh, I'm quite liking the look of all these. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can a bit. All the ripples that the outgoing tide has, has left. Might see if we can make some sort of leading lines out of them. Let's go and have a look. Well, although it's really thick cloud over to the west where the sun's setting, I've still got some nice gaps above me with some, still got quite a lot of blue sky showing and there is some yellow tinges on the edges of the cloud so fingers crossed there might still be a bit of colour cast above me and I might get a nice frame now I've put the intervalometer on and I've obviously put the body into bulb mode and I've set it well I've, I've locked it to a three minute exposure f22 ISO 100 got the 10 stop ND filter on again and I've just given it a bit of a test and looks quite nice the clouds are leading away from me so it's given me a nice smooth leading line going down the frame and I've got as you can see I've got all these ripples that are sort of leading your eye up the frame so fingers crossed if we get a bit of colour it might actually look all right but uh, I'm going to stick it out anyway and, and see what the sunset does probably got about another 20 minutes yet I should think but um, cool, there's some lovely beams coming through the clouds now but uh, fingers crossed I'll keep my eye on the intervalometer and uh, see what it looks like at three minutes and if if it's not quite right I might give it three and a half minutes but we'll see jobs are good un. well I've been waiting for the sun to set 
obviously behind that thick cloud, but I'm looking above me and I've turned round and look behind me. There's a lot more gaps in the clouds, in the cloud base, and obviously a lot more gaps and a lot more colour. And also that colour that's in the sky is reflecting in all the, the ripples and, and the puddles on the sand. So I think this could be a better exposure. I've gone for three minutes again. I'm at, I've gone down to F16 because it is getting a bit darker now. So I'm going to try F16 ISO 100, three minutes on the intervalometer. Obviously I've got the ND filter on, the 10 stop ND filter. And we'll see how this comes out because obviously the clouds are blowing, they're coming straight over me directly from the, obviously a northerly wind and the clouds are coming straight over. So it might make a better frame. We'll see in a minute. I'm about two minutes in. <laughs> Well, as you can see, there's some beautiful colour in the clouds now. Just get that turned up a bit. Yeah, some lovely colour. I've actually brought it down to F11 now, and I'm, I'm going to try, because at three minutes, it, I lost a lot of colour in the clouds, and the same at two minutes. So I've just tried it at one and a half minute exposure, and I'm getting a little bit more colour. So I'm going to try it at a one minute exposure now, because we're losing light all the time. And in fact, I think there's a bit of colour going in the sky already. Not long now till sunset, but... Uh, Oh, it's great fun, great fun just trying lots of different settings and that, but uh, yeah, we'll see how a one minute exposure goes, I better check it. <laughs> Crikey, look at that sun shining through that gap in the clouds, absolutely beautiful. Just need a little bit of colour coming onto these clouds now, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we shall see. As you can see, the sun's setting quite rapidly now, so I'm just checking all around me turning round just to see where the colour is and it is it's funny because it is making its way over my head a bit and uh, the clouds behind me are beginning to light up now so I may be spinning round again in a minute but we shall see so I've just opted for a, a low angle on my mini tripod because what I noticed as the sun was setting and the colour was disappearing as you can see most of the sand is has lost the colour in this area but there's still a little bit of colour right in the distance as well as in the sky so by lowering my angle as you can see there's a bit more colour appearing in the puddles so if I just stand up oh let's just stand up so as you can see there at that angle where my my tripod was a lot of the colour in the lower end of the frame had disappeared so by lowering myself, as you can see, I'm getting a bit more reflection and I'm getting a little bit more colour again. So I'm just trying a few, as you can see, really, really low angle. And uh, it seems to be working all right. So uh, what I'll do, guys, I'll pop the frame up that was at a high angle and then I'll pop the frame up that was at a low angle and you can let me know which one you think's best.
completely lost the light now. What am I on on this? ISO 640, so uh, all the colours gone, but really enjoyed that. Nice to turn my eye to a bit of long exposure, and I'm going to keep coming back down to the, the beach here and, and uh, practicing my long exposures because I don't do enough of it really. So, uh, yeah, so there'll be some more videos from down here, hopefully. I have spotted a nice bit of driftwood. Well, I say driftwood, it's actually a, an old oak tree, but obviously that's washed up right to the top of the beach. So next time there's a high tide, I'll keep my eye out for high tide times and uh, perhaps do a little bit of long exposure on that, you know, a bit of fine art photography, if you like. So yeah, plenty to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Anyway, if you could remember to give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, that'd be much appreciated. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying the videos. It really does boost the channel performance, so uh, I'd really appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't yet, that'd be much appreciated too. So, uh, job's a good one. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. Take care, catch you up soon.